So good afternoon, good morning, wherever you guys are in the world. Thank you so much for um, joining me today. Let me go ahead and shut off these noises so that we don't hear them when um, people are joining and leaving. Uh, this is our Builder All community. And I am, um, first off, those of you that haven't been, this is your first time connecting with me. Uh, as you as you will discover that anytime I do any sort of event bringing people together, I'm always committed to networking. I'm always committed to to um, helping people collaborate and connect and, and find those resources because part of why we're doing this is I have found that that one and one is not two, one and one is 11 and that the power of us coming together really can amplify and accelerate um, what we're doing. And so, one of the our agenda today is we'll do a quick introduction. Uh, Want to know who you know who's here and what you're up to. But again, like sixty seconds, really quick. We're gonna just you know use the chat room. I want this to be a, a community where you can collaborate, where you can connect. Uh, but really, I'm here today to support uh, individuals that are using Builderall, and we've invited a few of you to come on and take a look at what this is and what it's about um, and, and want to be able to support you, but that may be in a little bit more of a one-on-one -on -one because each of you that are already using Builderall, a lot of you, I've, got, I've sat with you and I've gotten to know what your business is, what your needs are, um, and that's really one of the best things to do because each, each one of our businesses are unique. The, the common thread is that we all have messages that we're getting out to the world and we're looking for ways to market those efficiently, effectively, um, timely, and, and productively. And so those of you that don't know my story, uh, a number of years ago, I had a friend introduce me to an all-in-one package. Uh, they told me that it was thousands of dollars down. I had a very big community that I was super excited to be able to build this community and, and get everything all in one. So I was eager based upon, you know, the team and, and their track record to go ahead and, and um, in, invest. And this, again, was um, about $1,500 a month ongoing. Well, as I got six months into the program, I realized that it was not at all what they said. Um, they were still using an external mail server. I mean, there was just a lot of um, holes in that gap. And uh, in the meantime, I invited my community, which a lot of you are here. Dr. Bob was here, part of that journey with me. And I was so disheartened that not only did I spend all this time and money and resources, but that I had opened it up to others. And for months, I had somebody keep telling me about this program, but they were saying it was $80 a month. And I'm like, how can something be $80 a month and be that good? And finally, I went over to their house and they said, you have to sit down. They opened it up. They showed me the back office. And when I took a look, I was like, okay, this is something a little different. And so I've been using this for over two years. And I really didn't talk about it to anybody until I got, you know, I got everything migrated and, and started using it to make sure that it worked. And, and so I went from about $800 a month to $80 a month um, using this using this system. So my commitment now and what I've realized is that this community is growing is that there are things that others are doing and using and the, the program is so robust that I feel like by us coming together, we can share and learn and connect and, and be able to utilize and learn from each other how to um, use it even better. And um, so if you are, actively using Builderall, please, when we do the quick introductions, um, you know, just say, yep, I'm actively using it. So we know if you are here to kind of audit and learn, I'm going to ask you to, um, you know, please put questions in the chat and, and we, you know, I, we're, we want to be here to support you. But I, as I mentioned in the beginning, I'm really here to support the people that are, that are using this existingly. So I want to make sure that any support that they have or that they need that we, we do that. And then also I asked um, Amaryllis, and I just saw that you came on to also share some of what she's up to again, because this is a chance to see what others are doing, what things that they're um, that they're coming up with and how to 
help them grow. So with that, let's go ahead and um, I'm going to pick who goes first and just say who you are, what you're up to. Um, again, just 60 seconds. You can put more in the chat if there's anything that you're, you're offering. I am going to cut you off at 60 seconds just because I want to make sure that we get all this done. If you can do it in 30 seconds, then you get media magic stars and points. Um, Juliet, do you mind if I go start with you first? And, uh, and then you can pick who goes next. Sure, because I wasn't paying attention. Thanks, teacher. I'm sorry, <laughs> just a quick intro, just a quick intro. I'm Julia <laughs> Clark, I own Superbrand Publishing. We're a publishing and book marketing company. And uh, I use Builderall for our uh, Breakthrough Author Magazine. Beautiful. And Juliet is my favorite. I'm sorry, I know we're not supposed to be respecters of people, but she is one of my most powerful power partners. Um, if you ever want to look at modeling, and we talk about this in some of our other seminars, um, what a power partner is like, Juliet is absolutely one of those. I feel like I'm not alone in my business. And and um, and please, Juliet, put the, the link to um, your free magazine that you give as a resource in the chat, because I, we all have stories to get out to the world, and Juliet is putting together a first class or has put together a first class um, magazine to support articles or authors and getting their message out to the masses. Juliet, who do you want to go next? Bob, you knew I was going to pick on you, didn't you? I saw you like start to smile. <laughs> and Bob, you're muted. Yeah, Juliet, I just felt it. I felt you. I knew you were going to call on me, so thank you for that. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm Dr. Bob Levine, and uh, uh, I have a, several things that I do. Uh, I have a uh, kind of a boutique practice helping people in chronic pain and stress and symptoms of stress related conditions really uh, get out of that issue, especially when they tried a lot of things and uh, nothing has worked uh, as well as they would hoped it would. So I get the job done in that arena and I'll put my information in the chat. And also I'm a professional speaker. I've been doing that for years and uh, I love uh, do, you know speaking in public and educating people, providing value for that. Um, so I'll just leave it at that. That'll take my 40 seconds. Shannon? Uh, right. Shannon, yeah. Well, I, I love Shannon. I just want everybody to know that. I love Shannon. And, uh, she's, she's like one of my favorite people. Pardon the dog. I'm going to mute myself. Awesome. Well, and I've actually used Dr. Bob's um, stuff. I had surgery a little over a year ago, and it was a miracle worker. Um, it's, it's amazing. Definitely, Dr. Bob, post your stuff. Uh, anybody in pain, he's a rock star. Bob, who do you want to go next? I know the dogs are barking, but I want everybody to kind of pick who's who's next. Yeah, so uh, I just want to say one more thing. I'm, I'm building an online surgery uh, made easy program for any, so anybody who's got a surgery coming up, definitely get a hold of me because uh, that program is dynamite for preparing yourself for surgery. I'm going to pick uh, Debbie Lynn. Thank you, Bob. Um, I am right now living in Cape Canaveral. I have a big truck going by. I don't know if anybody can hear that or not. I'm teaching people how to uh, start with their DNA, get their DNA clean, and live a green life from the inside all the way on out. So they have a healthy lifestyle from their DNA um, on out to the products that they use for cleaning and for their bodies. And Beautiful, Debbie. I'm going to choose Dale. Alrighty. Well, in our case, uh, let's see, I'm a little bit different than most. Thank you for the invite, but glad to share nonetheless. Uh, Dale Collier, I head up a small boutique uh, financial services firm, uh, otherwise known as a family office. It tends to be a little bit. And, uh, in our case, you know, we, we like to look at the build the role because we're sharing a lot of software with the people that we work with in community. And, you know, we're looking at all the common stuff of, of the hosting and the email and, you know, having different landing pages um, for e-learning and funnels and, and webinars and, you know, ongoing SMS, chat support, CRM, and overall community uh, with, with, with Shannon's assistance. And so for us, that translates into a cost savings of thousands thousands a year and to be able to have one platform and a tremendous support of I'll just say service providers I don't have to know it all 
to integrate that and get it done. So that's that's part of why I'm here um, to be able to share what I've learned and how I've learned. And if I can help you in any way, if you even know what a family office is, we can. Beautiful. Thank you, Dale, for being here. Uh, and who would you like to have go next? I think Ceci. I haven't heard from her for a while. Hi, Dale. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I was in the process to move to a laptop so I could sit down. <laughs> this is my stand up desk. Hello, everybody. Thank you, Shannon, for uh, making this group of great people that I think some of us know each other. I am in the travel industry. I am recently uh, picking up a couple of advisory jobs and I'm very, very excited about that. I am promoting Croatia uh, for a company that it owns yachts and villas. And at the same time, I love to build community with Shannon, whatever she's in, I'm in, if I can afford it. <laughs> So thank you very much. Nice meeting you. Some new faces for me. Thank you. Thank you, Ceci. And before you choose who goes next, Ceci imports these incredible products from, from Greece. We love getting her the oils and the olives and the teas and, and the cookies and the cookies. <laughs> and she was my great, you know, anytime I have special unique gifts, she's just amazing. All right, Ceci, who's next? I'm going to pick Am Amarilis. Oh, yay. How ironic. Thanks, Ceci. Uh, because my name is Amaryllis and I'm also a travel advisor. <laughs> um, I actually, I focus on curating culturally immersive tra uh, trips for groups, although I do work with individual clients as well, but about 80% of my business is groups. Um, I have been, I'm fairly new to Builderall. I think we just, I just started with Builderall Let's see, when was it, Shannon? Like December, maybe? I think so, yeah. <laughs> but um, I kind of just have dove in and have been trying to transition a lot of the um, things I was doing in other platforms into Builderall. And so far, so good. I can't complain. It's been a great experience. I'm super thrilled um, to be part of the Builderall community and to be on this call. So awesome to Wonderful. see so many entrepreneurs. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being here. All right. And who would you um, like to go next? Please skip Emma and Yang. They're a part of my team. I'll introduce them at the end. So when you select, please skip Emma and Yang. All right. I'm going to choose Regina. Yes. <laughs> hey, girl. Glad you made it. Hi, everyone. I'm Regina Rosa Celeste, and I'm so happy that I have people um, joining the Builder All family because it's really an amazing, amazing product. So much so that I still have yet to learn about it. So I'm glad that we're doing this. Thank you, Shannon, for launching and leading the way. And uh, what I do is I help support people in having more peace in their life uh, using mindfulness tools and practices. I teach mindfulness through meditation, yoga, and mindset. And um, lots of people on here that I appreciate, Dr. Bob, um, Ceci, my sister, um, Alexander, Dale, David, Shannon. It's a big family. So very happy everyone's here and excited to meet more of you and Juliet and so many more that I have yet to meet. So thanks. Okay, and who do you want to go next? I'll choose my sister, Esther. Like I was surprised. <laughs> Uh, okay, hey everybody. My name is Esther. I'm sorry about if you're hearing noise in the background, just doing some laundry. Um, so glad to, glad to be here. Um, I was invited to check this platform out. What we do is I do emotional intelligence and my partner does uh, vestibular work. So we run a clinic here in Hollywood, Florida, and we help people with dizziness, balance, and vertigo conditions. And we do that with nutrition, emotional support, and we're very passionate about what we do. Um, like I said, we're located in Hollywood and, um, you know, just really happy to be here. And yeah, I recognize a few faces myself. So it's great to be here with everybody and, and run into everyone again. It's been a while. Thank you so much. All right. And who do you want to go next? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, I would say Alexander, because he shares, I think, my mother, Mother Russia. <laughs> Hi, 
Hello, everyone. Do you hear me? Yes. Yes. Uh, my name is Alexander Alperovich, and my company called Your Guiding Star, and also Natalology. And one of the things that I do is I work with a very unique methodology, which is allow people to, based on their, their date of birth, know uh, many things about their financial well-being, health improvement, harmony in relationship, their new talents, what they have, talents from God, talents from mother, father, also understanding of other people, look on their destiny and their life purpose, and even more. Also compatibility for children, compatibility for parents, and so on. And this is a very unique system. It's not yet a lot in America, but I found the way to translate it. And right now, uh, people say, wow, this is amazing. I would like to know more. It's not astrology. It's not numerology. It's a little bit uh, different, but uh, it's proven track record in a lot of testing. What's that sound? And thank you. And I also, uh, another thing I do, I work with very time. strong. Sorry, sorry, it's time. Sorry. <laughs> just want to keep going um alexander you can put it in the chat will you pick who gets to go next yes give me a second i think that uh we have um trisha carrie castle Carrie doesn't speak yet carrie go ahead okay. hi thank you i'm completely new i do not know anybody but juliet and shannon uh so i'm just like a virgin we'll say that <laughs> I am a, an author of a book that just launched and it became a bestseller. It's called The Domino Diet. And my title typically is I'm a dietitian, but that usually comes with images like hair nets and lab coats and things like that. So I'm trying to bust that. And technically, my sort of tagline is I'm a dietitian on a mission to bring back the true meaning of the word diet, which comes from the Greek origin, dieta meaning a way of life. So I'm bringing back diets to be a way of life and putting the heel back in health. How does that sound? It changes now and then, but that's what I'm sticking with so far. I love it. Well, I had the honor of working on her press release that got syndicated. And what I learned is it's so much more than food. I mean, you bring in Brett, you, you really bring in that beauty and that holistic piece. And so if you don't have the book and you're looking for <laughs> that way of life, um, thank you, Carrie, for, for Thanks, being Shannon. here. I'll put information in the chat. Perfect. Carrie, who would you like to pick to go next? Ooh, who have we not heard from? Uh, there's people not on camera. Emma? Um, well, we're going to skip Emma and Yang. Oh, They're on my team. Um, we've got Trisha has not went yet. Trisha. And David. Ah, yes. Thank you. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Trisha Schmalhofer. I live here in uh, Brevard County, Florida, and I am um, a mind body spirit therapist. I do a lot of uh, hands on work. Uh, craniosacral therapy is my main jam, but that kind of catapults me into other therapies. Um, I also am an intuitive, so I do uh, spiritual counseling, Akashic Records readings, and that all kind of just is well-being consulting is kind of what I'm landing with as a title. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to Shannon showed me Builder All. I, I do need to migrate uh, and redo. I have two businesses, Med Healers and BAM Community. So I liked that I could put both of these websites under the one platform and that I could start adding um, classes to do some passive income building because I can only work on so many people a week. You know, I need to start having some income coming in where I don't have to be doing so much. So I'm looking forward to learning. Awesome. And um, she's very humble. She's been my, she helped my son who had seizures and blackouts. Um, she's been just an amazing um, gift for me, whether you see her face to face, which I love the hands on way, way more, not knocking the, we've done some long distance stuff and it's rocked my world. Thank you, Trisha, for being here. And I think we just have David left. David Dunworth here from Clearwater, Florida. I, I have a basket of things that I do. Primarily, I work with nonprofits. Uh, faith-based organizations. I work uh, with Dale and Shannon at uh, with King's Council and Trust. 
family office. Within there, I do copywriting. I also handle the complex specialized trust instruments that we provide and work with a, with Dale on a couple of other uh, initiatives like the ICOVEST community. I'm opening a mortgage brokerage office anytime yesterday. We've been waiting, we've been working on it for over a year and uh, that's coming really close, I hope. So uh, there's a lot going on. I'm just happy to be part of the team. Beautiful, thank you, Dale. So I am going to, um, thank you, David, not Dale. <laughs> Uh, so I wanted to take a moment and, and part of my team and what, what makes, you know, has really helped me with my migration and, and day-to-day -day, uh, full-time team is, is Yang and Emma. Um, Yang has been the, the incredible tech support. I mean, to me, he is, he is, he makes my life so incredible. He's a new father. Um, I actually started working with his wife, Singh. So I'm just so grateful that you're here today, Yang. And Emma, uh, who I have worked with for years and years, um, is also very active in, in Builderall and somebody that I consider like marketing and, and, and genius in, in that aspect. And so I just wanted to remind everybody my commitment in Builderall. Um, is that in Builderall, if this is somebody that, that either I have sponsored you or somebody that, that I have sponsored is sponsoring you, you have access to our team, to our community. Um, within Builderall, uh, you have lots of support. They have the, you know, the instant chat customer support here when you get into the back office or even when you go to, um, to sign in. Uh, they also have lots of great events. They have a knowledge base. They have YouTube channels with over 1,200 videos. Um, there's, there's really uh, a great opportunity to, to get that support. But what I have found is that, um, again, what I said in the beginning is that when we come together and we share resources, this is really where we flourish. So the other pieces is, is if there's something that you're stuck in, please you know, try these resources first. And, and let us know. I don't want anybody to be hung up on anything for more than 24, 48 hours max. Um, we've had like Juliet in the beginning. Juliet is the queen of quizzes. That's not her word, but that's my word. She helps people build their platforms with quizzes. And so in the beginning, she said, hey, what quizzes can we do? And so I went to Yang and I said, hey, Yang, show us what, you know, what's possible. So he created two different ways that we can use Builderall to, to see if it was a good fit for Juliet. Um, so I just want you to know that if there are challenges, I do not want you reaching out to them directly. You do need to come through um, through me, please. And I'll make sure you have my email and, and my, my number. But that is um, one, of the, one of my commitments is that, that you have that extra added support so that you don't ever feel alone, that you have, um, you have a team here helping you to be, uh, to be supported. I know Juliet recently did something and she, her, the person that had hired kind of left her hanging in, in a glitch. And so she was able to call us and, and get right, get right through those challenges. And that's really um, what we want to create. So if you're seeing Builderall for the first time, um, you know, here are all of the things that you have, that we have as a, as a premium member, they do have a new a package that I just want to share for those of you that are, um, you know, so today I'm going to go through a couple of things. We're going to do a little bit of show and tell. I'm going to have Amaryllis. You're going to take the stage for a moment and share some of what you're up to. I already made you co-host. I have a couple of announcements. Builderall did send some emails out, but I, I wanted to make sure that you that you did uh, receive that okay. Uh, but this is this is all that we have for the 1450. So how many of you guys know somebody that's that maybe has a business idea or all they need is just a website and email um, for for 1450 a month, they can do 2000 email providers unlimited or contacts unlimited emails, uh, you can build one one website. Uh, you also have the e-commerce. So I think that is such a, a powerful tool. If you guys know anybody that's just trying to get started with, um, with a website, and that is through their Cheetah Builder website piece. Uh, I also wanted to remind everybody that 
that we do have all of this powerful training that they provide, um, you know, things for their, you know, how to use their magazines, uh, Facebook ads, this talks through their, their marketing and email. Um, and, you know, anybody that's in, I found this interesting for uh, learning how to multiply websites and things. And all of these are built in their e-learning system. One of the first things that I did when COVID happened was I said, I need to get my e-learning in place. I need to be able to make money while I'm sleeping. How many of you want to make money while you're sleeping? Can I get it? Yes. <laughs> I think everybody. So this was the very first area that I, you know, the team was really working on and migrating. I wanted to get, get out from GoDaddy. I migrated all of my domains. I leave my domains at GoDaddy, but the hosting service and the emails, all of the things where I had hard costs, the SSL um, co certificates, all of that I migrated over to Builderall because it was included in the package. Migrated all of my email contact lists, both from uh, MailChimp and Aweber. I migrated my, my booking calendar. So I first went, what is my highest expense and how do I get that over here as soon as, as, soon as possible? And as, as Amaris was saying, it did take a little bit of time, right? It does, it does take a little bit to get it over, but once you get it over, this is, this is great. So this is their, their e-learning system. And this is what the, the customer's experience is. And so you get to see kind of firsthand um, how beautiful that can look and what, what can happen uh, with that. I really wanted to get in and, and start um, making, you know, putting things together to make money while I was sleeping. And also I found with the PR distribution service that there was a lot that I was repeating over and over again. Anybody else finding that in your business that there's just something that you keep repeating over and over again? Or is that just, yes, okay. Um, it's like, I, I was like, let me put something in e-learning in videos that, are, you know, these are like 30 second to three minute in an e-learning format so that the customer has like a checklist and, and I feel good going, okay, I've provided them everything that they need to, um, to keep moving. I wanted to make sure that if you are actively using Builderall, um, Yang has been so incredible at working to create our email sequence to support you. So for example, the first email that, that um, our you know, individuals, whether we sponsor you or, or like Amiris was brought in by Regina or anybody here that's, that's with somebody else, um, this is not it, sorry, let me go back to the correct one. Um, that you are able to easily get the tools that we have, um, that we've been using. And so for example, the very first email, and if you don't have these, please let us know, put in the chat room and, and Yang, if you can capture their, their names, um, we'll make sure to get you in this sequ sequence again. But the very first email is going to be, you know, all of their tools and how to do that first migration. Um, you know, they, as I mentioned, they have a YouTube community. Uh, they have a lot of Facebook groups. I love the Facebook groups because we'll all go in. And if we have a challenge, you can say, hey, what about this? And you'll have lots of people either offer to do it for you for a fee, a fee or they'll um, share with you ways of what they're doing and how to do that. Uh, but Young has been working diligently as we go along to create systems that are just images that show you how to do things within, within Builderall. And so um, currently we have a seven, I think six or seven email sequence that we've built. And so every week, once somebody joins, they should be getting this sequence um, to be able to do that. And again, if you have not been getting this sequence and you are an active Builderall um, client, please let us know, put in there that you're not getting it and, and you'd like to do that. Also, if there's something that you want help on, like if you're in here and you wanna know, how do I do this? Please put that in there too. So like the second one we started, we start talking about um, the booking calendar and how to set up the booking calendar and how to use some of the mailing boss um, autoresponder. Now again, Builderall provides all of this, but Yang um, put this together in a way that, yeah, what, what I tell my team is, is that um, I hope you're with me forever. 
But if you win lottery or something happens, I need to have a system so that I can go in and know how to do that. And so um, I'm so grateful that Yang has been able to set all of this up in a really simple format so that we can go in and, and do that. And I, and I invite you, like, you're more than welcome to set up this email sequence for you and, and people that you might share, share Builder All with. We are totally, this is a collaborative space. This is a resource space. Um, there's nothing here that, that we've done that we, you know, we want all of you um, to be able to share and, and use. So I'm going to pause real quick just to do a quick check in to see if there's any questions um, so far about what I've shared. Um, okay, looks good, looks good. Okay, so let me get into some of the things that we are using. Okay. So one of the first things that we did was we went ahead and got into um, our, our website piece. And Amaryllis, am I saying your name correctly? Amaryllis or Amaryllis? Amaryllis. Amaryllis. Okay, I want to make sure I'm saying it correctly. You're so, saying it perfectly. <laughs> okay, good. So this company is over 12 years old, and um, they are, we just got to 5.0 version. They're constantly improving it, which, which I love. When I made this decision, I didn't want to be with a startup. I didn't want to be with anybody that didn't have enough resources. And so they just did the 5.0. And so they have now made this to where you can build WordPress within Builderall. Um, we currently, when we got involved, we were able to migrate some of our own sites, but we've been building everything uh, in Cheetah Builder. And so I'm just going to do a, a, a quick peek on that. And again, we're here to answer questions and troubleshoot. So if there's any questions that you may have, um, please, please let us know. We do have, um, as you can see here, this has been my primary site. We have unlimited pages that we were able to build out in here. Um, and they even have the members area that you can create. Again, this ties, we've tied this to our e-learning uh, and the pieces that are there. Some of the things that we love is the, the super checkout. Um, they've got easy blog stuff. They even have um, things like the social proof so they can they can pop up and show you um, show when people have purchased so other people can say hey so and so has purchased this and and various things you can set up automatic headers and footers so that becomes consistent within what's there um, they've recently started some of the voting options there's just a lot here that you're able to use now I am not a full-blown expert on this there are pop-ups um, that you're able to do too, a number of various pop-ups. I'm always surprised at the team when I say, hey, let's do this often. And then they come and they create this beautiful pop-up um, that they've, they've pulled to, together. Um, let's see here. Yes, Amarellis is a rock star. I can't wait for her to share. So for example, let me just show you, I'm trying to find one here. We've, we've created a lot of funnels which was really um, exciting. If you haven't downloaded my book, the Media Magic book for free, um, if you go to mediamagicbook.com, you can download that for free. That's one of the funnels that we've, we've created. And I'm trying to see which one do I, well, let me just show you the PR one. So when you get in here, there are um, a number of, of tools. And again, what we love is this, this connects with the CRM. Um, this connects with the, um, with the, the mailing boss. Uh, they have ways of also tracking. It also connects with Google Analytics, which is really important to get even a, a, a higher level analytics of what's going on. Um, here's the sites. They have tons of templates that you're, you're able to use, use from. You're able to see what does it look like in the different views. And I'm not sure if those of you that are, that are using this are looking at the different views, but that's uh, really revealing to be able to see what's, what's going on and, and the full um, customer experience. Um, Builderall also hosts videos, which is, which is uh, important to uh, secure things. Sometimes we're doing things that we wanna have that's secured. 
So there's a, there's a lot here. Any questions about Cheetah Builder? Anybody having, you know, here's website overviews, settings. There's a, there's a lot here, SEO, a lot of pieces here. So what would be the advantage of, uh, <clears throat> am I allowed to un, uh, un, unmute myself? Is yes. that okay? Yes. What would be the advantage of using this for just a simple website versus just these free websites that you can construct through various hosts? Uh, <clears throat> What would be the advantage of this? Um, well, in my opinion, the one thing is, is that it's connected to everything, Bob. Um, yeah. And you are able to do a lot of um, things that I found that you are not able to do in the in some of the free websites. Mm -hmm. um, also, it is labeled, so you're not marketing the website. If you go to my website, um, yeah, it, Regina said, one stop, one stop shop. So yeah. that that whole as, as, as you expand, I guess that yep. the value is okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, in that in that piece, and there's a lot of um, tracking here. And again, I've only used I I've really stayed away from free websites just because I've been a big component of of ownership, yeah. and um, and user ability. And, um, and so it took me a little bit to be able to go to this. I'm really excited that they have WordPress here. Um, I know that that's, you know, that tends to be the most common because people uh, own that. But yes, it's the, it's the all-in-one user ability and the, and the connectability. And the other piece, Bob, that this has is that it does have an app. And so the app builder to be able to utilize an app that audit, that you can easily integrate with the website. I know I built an app a, a while ago and it was a significant amount of money to have it built out. And then there, you know, there's this ongoing um, piece that's there. So this was really exciting to be able to not only have the, the website, but this is opening up in just a minute. Hold on just a second. Um, but to be able to have all of these features that are built into an app um, is pretty robust and, and powerful to have that instant connectivity because right now stats are showing that a majority of people are doing a lot of things on their phone. And so, you, you know, you want to be able to be in both worlds, the quicker you are in both worlds. Um, the easy it is. Now, the website does make it app friendly, uh, but a lot of times when you're doing the apps, um, there's there's a lot more that you can do here to help increase your revenue. Thank you. Regina? Yeah, I know Esther was asking, is this compatible with Teachable, which is a really good question. I was just curious also. Yeah, so um, Teachable, my understanding is a... Is a um, platform that um, is like an e-learning, an LMS system, right? A learning management system, is that correct? Yeah. yeah. So, so um, there, the, the piece that we use there is called uh, e-learning. And so that's the piece that I showed in the beginning. So I'll share with you some of what we have. It's not super beautiful. It's, it's very functioning and usable. Um, and you can make it beautiful like some of what I showed you in the in the beginning. What I love about this is I can get full um, reign of who's done what and who has not. You can see what they've done, how long they've spent here, you know, time on here. You can see test results. You can do tests. You can do surveys. Um, they've recently added uh, some of the game of, you know, what do they call it when you accomplishments and achievements. So they kind of gamified a little bit. Um, you also have where you can limit access functions and, and time. And so um, it definitely does have that, that component and they can get direct connected to you with messages. They can leave comments and it's a pretty powerful thing. This is what I use for our, our PR distribution. And, um, and so, you know, it's real easy to go in here and add the different modules. Um, you can add them as modules or lessons. So here's like our first lesson. Um, in this particular one, we actually give the book away for, for free. And so in here, we're able to actually upload specific files. So when the client comes in, they can, they can access those files. And then this is what it looks like um, yes, and each member, thank you, Regina, uh, gets their own unique uh, accessibility. So for example, on this one, 
on lesson three, I wanted all of them to get their logos up front. So before we do the report, you know, I'm like, let's not wait until you get all that PR. Let's start working now. And so in this, I'm able to give them all of those key logos and they're able to see that and then watch a real quick short video. And then we give everybody either a certificate of completion or a certificate with, with, with our own CEUs. And we've been able to customize a really beautiful um, certificate that they get at the end. So, um, so yes, that, that would be similar to Teachability. Now, I do know when they launched 5.0, their next level is building out the community piece. And so we're currently, they're currently using Facebook as their community, but I do know that that is what their goal is in this next phase to be able to have the community aspect in their e-learning and in some of the things that's there. That's not the strong point. And I don't know if that's something that's strong in Teachable. Um, and if that is, and that would be one of the, the gaps that they're, that they're looking to, um, to improve. Um. Quick question. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you for Regina for, for bringing this up. Um, I guess the other question is, and forgive me, I'm not the expert at this part. Um, we use um, Quest Space for the, the testing portion. We have like an assessment inside of the Teachable. And so um, would um, this company here uh, you know, have that ability to also have those assessments. Yeah, it's it's got a full range of tests and assessments. So you can ask um, questions. Let me go back to my agreement course, because I know that's one where we're actually um, getting people a different level of test. So yeah, you can um, ask questions. Um, you can now pull in the survey piece there. Um, and depending on what what percentage they have to um, complete. You know, you may say, oh, you 60%. Nope, you need to retake it. All of that is, is in here to be able to do that. And I guess my last question would be, um, is there a way to get like a more in-depth demo, like with a person? Yep. No one and all that. I guess that's an obvious. Yeah. So, so get with the person that invited you on. That would be your sister. Um, she'll schedule a one on one with me and then I'll go through with you um, individually. Yeah. And that's for anybody. Like, so one of the um, Amaryllis, and I'm going to go to you next. Are you ready for a show and tell in a minute? Is that okay? Um, one of the announcements that they just made, and I, I'm going to show you one more thing why she's getting queued up here is that they have an incredible affiliate program. Um, they, uh, they give you so much it, stuff in here to help. Like there are people that are making five figures a month just sharing this tool. And, and it's all over the world. It, as you can see from this here, there's, there's many different languages that they support. That's another thing that I love about this is they have some of those translation pieces in here. So you now have a, you know, access to creating a global business, which I am not super key. You know, I, I'm not super active in that, but that's one of the other pieces. So their newest announcement is that anybody that you refer, you get 30% ongoing as long as they're a customer. Anybody that they refer, you get 30% on that next tier. And so it's really, um, to me, this is part of why I was like, we, I want to start bringing us together. I want to start supporting people at that next level because, the, you know, this is something that we should all be able to get us get paid for. Like you get three customers and you don't have to pay for this anymore. It, it becomes a, a, a free tool. And when you get in here, you'll see that they just, they have a ton of um, great stuff. They have a whole affiliate community. Um, they pay out in Bitcoin to anybody that's into the crypto space. Um, there's, a, there's a lot here that, that they do. And so if somebody invited you here, please make sure you get with that person that invited you here. Use their use their link because that's going to tie you into this um, into this community. We are going to start meeting um, the second Monday of every month at one o'clock. So you know if you want to bring people on to be able to see and learn. But ideally, this is where I want you to tell me your challenges, and I want to be able to help walk you through this. This is really support. Um, you know, also for the people that are here uh, existing. So 
Amaryllis, again, I'm, I'm looking for questions here. Um, Amaryllis, do you mind if I turn this over to you to share some of the goodies of what you're doing in Builderall? Not at all. <laughs> I'll try to share as much as I can. And I, I don't have anywhere as much as stuff as Shannon, but I'm working on it, <laughs> working on getting there. Uh, let me just share my screen real quick. Yeah, one of the things I was excited about is some of what you're doing with the CRM. And, and I don't know if you're okay sharing some of that, but, but I am going to encourage everybody, if you have funnels, like let's put those in the chat room so that we can share with each other. And then that, you know, that's one of the best ways to see what others are up to. Like when I signed up for Amaryllis, I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm in love with what she's, what she's creating. So if you have a funnel, um, please put that in the, in the chat and, and let's, you know, go through those funnels and be able to see what, what people are up to. Okay, so um, so I joined Builderall because I was I I'm a an ideas girl and I'm always thinking of all these things that I can do, and one of them was a membership program and I knew that I was going to need a bunch of different technology, and while I've worked in technology and I know how to integrate different technologies, I didn't really want to spend my time trying to figure out how to integrate this platform with that platform and so forth. And so Regina um, mentioned, uh, she's like, hey, I know a tool that might be useful for you. I met with Shannon and Regina and they walked me through it and I was blown away because I was just like, oh my God, everything that I pay for separately today, I can just do in one place. So the way Builderall has helped me tremendously from the perspective of, I haven't moved my website over yet. That is in the works. Um, I'm, work, I'm trying to finish the membership site first before I actually move over my entire website. But one of the things that I do for clients or people that I'm partnering with, um, Regina mentioned in the chat that we are working on a retreat, is I build landing pages for those particular um, events or activities. And so Builderall gives me the ability to build across multiple for multiple clients without having to pay additional. Um, I was using another platform at one point, but it wasn't very intuitive and it wasn't very friendly. And Builderall has definitely changed all of that. So um, I'll share the website that Regina and I have put together for our wellness and cultural retreat. I'll just show it here. Um, but, uh, So see here, I just, it just gives me, let me see if I can mute this, sorry. Stop it. So I just, I love the flexibility of it, the ability to kind of like put videos in it and images and really just really structure this in a way that works best for you. Um, and it's just beautiful. Like, and I was able to upload my fonts, my brand fonts to it. Um, so that it really does work with my brand uh, and just design it as I want to. And so now what I've done is I've created, this is now my template for clients and I'm able to integrate our brand colors into it and just kind of use this as my, as my template for building landing pages for my client. It just cuts down my time tremendously. So you'll see, I have, um, I have another client here, sorry, kind of slow with the, we'll go back here. I was gonna say that Builderall does hosting of videos. So if there's things that you want secure, um, but you can also use Venmo or YouTube, as you saw that she did, which is another um, yeah. great feature. It really does integrate with that. And same with a lot of the payment systems. Um, I learned a lot about some of the global payment systems that they have, but they do the normal like Stripe and PayPal and, and some of those too. So you'll see here, I use the same exact template for, my, for this website for this other client, right? Like just change the color so it matches their brand colors. Um, incorporated my fonts so that it's clear that, you know, I'm, I'm playing a role in this as well, but use the exact same template, it's just easier, faster, I could get it done because I'm all about trying to find efficient ways to do things. Um, 
And then I also created a funnel um, to help. One of the things I'm trying to do is obviously build my mailing list for my membership for when I launch my membership. So I built this um, lead magnet uh, that is called um, how to spot or how to determine if that cultural tour is a manufactured tour. So it's not really, they're just kind of like taking your money. <laughs> uh, sorry, let me go. You're not really getting the real experience. So you can see here people, you can input your name, your last name, your email address. It then um, will set, take you to the thank you page. Let's see if I can bring that up. And uh, let me go in here. Sorry guys, I know I'm moving a little slow. So it'll take you to this page after you sign in. It just says your cultural tour guide is on its way. And, and then what it does is I set up an email sequence in Mailing Boss where you can, um, you'll go into an automatic like five email sequence and you're able to kind of get a little bit more understanding of what I do, my a little bit of my history, my story. Um, and then uh, in the last one, I have a questionnaire about um, what are some of the destinations that are on your top bucket list? Uh, Cause it helps me understand what kind of trips I can put together that would appeal to most of the people in my group. It also helps me, I'm able to tag people. Like let's say somebody tells me Greece is on my bucket list. Whenever I have a Greece deal, I'm then able to send an email specifically to people who are tagged with Greece in their email um, in the CRM. And that way I, I'm not missing out on an opportunity to sell a trip to somebody who wants to go to that particular destination. So the, the beautiful thing is Builder All allows you to do that. Um, to be able to kind of set that up. I, I'll see, you'll see here, don't ignore these because these are for my um, for my membership program, which I haven't launched yet, but I'm working on. Um, but in here, actually, let's look into emails. Uh, you'll see I have some emails that I've already sent out. Like I have an Egypt promotional one. I have a sequence that's going out now for that. And then I have my welcome email sequence. And I have a welcome email sequence for the lead magnet, magnet folks. And I have a welcome email sequence for the non-lead magnet. Because I still want that information sent to anybody regardless of how they sign up. But I just made that distinction because obviously for the lead magnet, you're going to get that in your first email. So you, whereas if you didn't sign up for the lead magnet, you wouldn't be receiving that. Um, I was going to say one of the things uh, it's not, it's they, it's funny because with Builder All, there are certain circumstances where you're like, how do I do this? And you like, I'm the type of person, like I need to figure it out because that's just how my brain works. And then all of a sudden it just clicks and you're like, oh God, that was so easy. Why didn't I think about that before? <laughs> so, but I encourage you that as you start building things in, in building emails or whatever the case may be, an email sequence, if you run into issues, um, if you run into any issues, definitely use the Facebook community. I've gone in there, I've created workflows because I wanted to kind of see visually, I'm a visual person, so I wanted to understand first how my email sequence would work for a non-subscriber versus a subscriber and the, the workflows help me. And so sometimes I was a little stuck on how do I set this up? And people in that community are amazing. They will jump in, they will help you, they will give you answers like, like Shannon said. I mean, and more often than not, a lot of them are giving you guidance. They're not, they're not asking you to pay anything. They're just there to help. So I definitely encourage that. Um, the other thing that I've done with Builderall is um, I set up, so I talked about my membership, so I'm using that. I actually started off with the Cheetah, the Cheetah website builder, just that particular plan. But recently I switched over to the Cheetah website builder with WordPress because for my membership, there were certain functionalities or certain things that I wanted to include that I wouldn't have been able to do just alone with the Cheetah website builder. It's the same cost. I'm not playing any more or any less. Everything in my, in my, 
in my portal stayed exactly the same. But now, uh, for instance, like one of the things I want to include in my website is a community, like a community forum for discussions and so forth. And because I couldn't really kind of pull that in just directly, we um, I'm working with someone to build out my membership site, but we're using WordPress to be able to do that. So that's been super helpful. I am also looking at um, expanding into the e-learning. Uh, I want to build a uh, a course. Not it has nothing to do with travel, but I want to do a course on data marketing, data and analytics, understanding your KPIs and how to use that to make business decisions in my former life. That is what I did. <laughs> so, and I'm, I, I talked to a lot of other like travel advisors or small business owners who don't really understand that and are kind of missing opportunities to be able to strategically grow their business just by understanding the data for all of their activity, like their marketing activity. So my e-learning course will break it out by channel, by media channel. So whether it's email or social media, or, you know, I mean, not everybody's, not a lot of people are doing direct mail, but if they wanted to do direct mail, right? Like something like that, just breaking it out by media channel and kind of sharing with them, here are the basic KPIs that you should be looking at. Here's, here's how you learn um, what does that open rate indicate to you, right? Like it tells you that your subject line is pretty strong. Um, I am working on trying to move my newsletter over from MailChimp to Builderall. I haven't done it yet because, <laughs> so I managed to increase my open rates and my click-through rates last year. So my open rate went from like a 10% when I first started on MailChimp to it's now over it's about 35%. So I've increased it substantially over the year. And I'm like afraid that once I make the leap over to build all, <laughs> it might affect that a little bit. So that's just a little bit of fear on my part. I don't think it has anything to do with build all system. I'm sure it's great. I'm just, I'm, I'm, like I'm just like cherishing the fact that I've gotten my ill open rates to 35%. That's, that's huge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's huge, so, right? To go from yeah. like 10% to 35 <laughs> Yeah. So, so those, that's an accomplishment for me. As you can tell, I'm a data nerd. So for <laughs> no, me, you gotta be. Yeah, you gotta try. So I'm gonna I'm gonna share something with you real quick as you're moving over to mailing boss. One of the things that Yang just made a note, if that's okay. Yep. Um, so so they call it mailing boss, which she's referring to. And one of the things that we discovered is that um, the, the validation, and we just dealt with this with Julia, and this is why I love the community. I love being a part of what, um, what, what, what we're working with um, is that like Juliet, they, they have the double opt-ins and the double opt-ins is to protect the list and all of that that you know about. But Juliet, um, the people already opted in, they already wanted to sign. So she just had to write Builderall and, um, and get an approval and said they shut off that double opt-in and she was able to do a single opt-in. But what we found is sometimes when people don't opt in, this will come in as an unconfirmed. And so we would actually go in here and we still do this occasionally and we would Wait, just find- yeah, You can't see your screen. So. Can't. Oh, oh, I can't see your screen. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Can you see it now? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Like so we would go in and we would search for all of the unconfirmed and then we would just confirm them. So this was kind of a quick bypass through um, on some of them because we were like, oh, some people are not getting them and why? Right. And they do get the initial one, but that may be the, the piece that was there. So thank you, Young, for being that for doing that. The workflows. We have not mastered the workflows. Um, Amira, so when you say workflow, are you using this? Yes. Can you show us a completed one? Do you mind real quick before sure. we say goodbye? Yeah, sure. Let, let, me, me. let me stop sharing. So I, I love this workflow piece because the workflow allows you to go in and, and build things and connect them. And when you see what she's built out. This is incredible and it just really helps um, your team and you to uh, visualize and be able to work through the, the customer's journey. So this is my sequence for welcome. Yes. <laughs> so you can see here. So I typically will draw this out on my iPad. Like I said, I'm a very visual person. I just need to kind of like draw things out to see this. So this helps because um, it does exactly that. So you'll see here, it says manufacturer experiences, lead magnet, the subscriber, 
that means that once they come into the list, they're going to go into this email sequence. And by the way, they're also going to get tagged as a lead magnet person, right? So these two events are happening simultaneously. Once they um, go into the welcome email sequence, they're going to first re receive this first email here and that is on day one and that when you set up your emails it gives you the opportunity to decide okay do i want to send this two days after they sign up one day after they sign up you you can dictate how you want that and then the next day they're receiving the second email and the third day they're receiving the third email and you'll see it's like two day active right and then the last one is they're receiving the third email and then i don't know if you could see after they've received that last, the fourth email, they get changed over into my subscriber main um, list because that main list um, is the one that's getting all of the newsletters and all of the other um, promotional emails that I may be sending out. Um, if I'm doing a specific promotion to a specific country, I have in my email list, I have everybody tagged based on the information of the the based on the information that they've provided at some point in my questionnaire so if i'm running a like i gave that greece example if i if i'm running a promotion for greece i can just indicate in mailing boss i only want this to go to these particular people in my email list right the people that are tagged with that so it's a great way to segment to do some segmentation to really kind of um determine uh who should be receiving what um I live for these workflows. <laughs> so for me, it, it just was, you know, some, it was an added plus because you can't do this in a MailChimp. You can't do this in a MailerLite. You can't do this in any of these other platforms. Um, it's really just kind of setting up an email and, and hitting go. You know, yeah. you can't do segmentation, but you can't do workflows. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you for showing that. Oh, you're um, welcome. The other I thing I wanted to share, Shannon, if you go don't ahead. mind sharing. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I, I meant to put this poll up at the beginning. If you guys could just take a minute and answer that. Keep sharing. Keep sharing. Okay. So the other thing I wanted to share was that um, for those of you who schedule, you may already be doing this, but like, so I have a consultation form on my website and uh, usually I will ask clients if they want to um, work with me to figure to to fill out that consultation form it just gives me some initial information about where they want to go how many people um et cetera, et cetera, the dates and then what i what i've done is i've connected that once it's submitted it's connected to the calendar uh the the builder the booking builder here in in uh, builder all and it automatically triggers an email to them with my calendar so they can schedule time and i'm able to choose specific dates that i want to allocate for client consultations. I was using Gmail before, which was a free service, the Gmail uh, scheduler, which was a, a free service, but I wasn't able to block out particular dates. Like I do client consultations on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturday mornings. And I'm able to do that now, which I wasn't able to do with the Gmail. So it's really nice. And it's all automated. I don't have to send emails back and forth. I, it just cut back my time substantially. So. Yay. And this is why we're doing this. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Thank how, how does that compare with Calendly? Does, you know, does, did Calendly work for you or did you try that? I did not try Calendly, but I have to tell you Calendly, when I looked at the pricing, it was pretty expensive. I think if, if I'm not mistaken, I I don't know, when I saw it, it was like $30 and I might've just been looking at one of the plans. Um, I mean, here I'm paying I'm, pay, I'm on the $79 plan and I get everything plus the booking builder. So for me, it just, instead of doing a one-off, it just made sense to come into builder all and, and use all of the, the, the resources. Gotcha. Yeah, and the booking calendar is really robust. You can charge, you can not charge. I mean, it's, it's, yes. it has um, all the features. It does take a little bit to set it up like anything. There's a lot of pieces there um okay we still have a couple more on that and so i did see somebody asked about builder all teaching the ins and outs of spams and emails yes there is a training when you get in that that deals with the the mailing boss and the the email piece of it um, they do have a spam checker 
that is built into the system to check before you send out the, the email, um, which, is, which is great. And I know at one point when I first migrated over, I migrated over a, a, an old list from events from a number of years ago, and, um, and it wasn't converting. And so they also have a way where they can, you can pay a little bit more and do a list cleanup. So they're really on board with helping you get, um, you know, learn how to use it and, and, and get a clean list. So you have that high open rate. Yeah. And one of the other things you can do really, you could do with Builderall uh, and mailing bosses, um, testing, uh, subject lines so that you can see which subject line performs better and that helps you over time increase your open rates because then you have a better indication of what type of subject line your audience is responsive to so definitely don't like take advantage of those things because it's only going to help you improve you know your your response rates and your and your open rates and so forth and your click-through rates Yay. Okay. Any other questions? Ceci, I did introduce them in the beginning. Um, I know they, they can be a little shy. <laughs> Emma and Yang, if you wanted to come in, they're mostly here for, for su support. Um, I've been chatting back and forth with them on some, on some questions on my end. And, and so, um, Yes. And again, they are, you know, it does need to come through me, but if this is a part of the team and they've been using it for a couple of years and, and, and here to, to support. So I would love to hear, obviously I'm taking this poll on what it is that you would like to see in the future. What are some things you want to go over? I didn't go over everything because this is, to, this is really robust. Just to show you, Bob, real quick, the calendar on the, on the back end, like we have seven different calendars that we've, we've built out. Um, when you get in here, there is a wonderful, you know, you're going to be familiar with a, with a lot of these pieces, time zones, languages, that again, the whole language thing makes it a, a neat piece. You can bring in forms, automation, payments. Um, and, and you can set up different calendars depending on what you want. So for instance, I have a calendar for just client consultations, but I also have a calendar for like, I'm working with Regina on a retreat. So with business, like with partners, business partners, I have a separate calendar for that where I have more availability for that, you know? So you can set up different calendars depending on who, you, who you're trying to book with. And, and uh, right now, thank you, thank you for all that. It's really great. Um, and uh, right now, I'm using uh, you know Microsoft Outlook for you know all of my contacts and emails. How does that work out when I want if I wanted to use uh, Builderall? So you can still use um, email, but I I personally migrated over all of my emails. I still have a couple of Gmails that I use, but they that was something I was paying for, Bob. So I was paying to have. Um, have emails in an, in another host, and so I migrated everything um, over over here. And it um, and Amarellis, I don't know if you have anything else to add, or Young, if there's something else that that you want to tie in. Um, what I love is this allows my team to be able to check my emails. I mean, I know you can do this with anything. I'm not saying anything that's that's un. un uncommon, um, but it's been really, you know, not only the cost savings, but the, the accessibility and the usability, um, I think is great. And you should still be able to feed it into Outlook. I don't use Outlook. So, um, but I, you know, it's, it was the email. I don't know if they call it hosting, if that's the right word, but it was the email. I had to pay for my emails. I would get like one free for domain, but then when I set up support and all of that. This has unlimited as, as far as I know. Yang, will you, will you confirm that if that's correct? And he does say it's possible to integrate Outlook to the booking calendar. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sorry, if I missed that question. Thank you, Yang. I love you. <laughs> awesome. So this last one is really important to me, this last poll, just to get to know, um, you know, feedback on, on what's, what's useful, um, what's helpful. Um, oh, and they put in something about media magic. Sorry. <laughs> Speaking of media magic, let me just do a real quick plug. If you haven't seen our calendar, um, we have a lot of great events that are coming up. If you just go to Shannon Procise, um, events.com. We've got a lot of free webinars that we're, we're teaching on, on media and publicity. And um, these are various things that we've built out in Builderall. But the big thing that I'm working on right now, and Juliet's one of our featured presenters, is our seventh Media Magic Sales and Marketing Intensive. 
this is a work on your press kit event. This is not a lecture and learn like you, the minute you sign up, um, you get a whole power bio kit um, with, with an audio training and, and you don't have to do it. You can show up and work at the event, but the people that actually do stuff ahead of time, um, when they show up, they act, they get just, they get a lot done. And many times they can leave there with those key components of their, their press kit done. We do have media there. So we're doing a media panel and that is such a powerful time to hear from them of what, how do you pitch them? What do you like to, how do they like to be pitched? Um, there is in one of the packages where we have included the, the press release syndication access to my, my media black book. So if you have any questions, you can go to meetshannon.com. If you want to talk one-on-one -on, -one on that, let me know. If you are interested in Builderall and learning more, I know there's a lot of new people here, get with the person that invited you. Um, they can get you a link. There are some trial things that they have um, and, and make sure please use their link because that's going to get you into the hub in the community um, and the and the family. Are you going to so send are you going to send the chat around to everybody or should we save so, it? So save the chat uh, to, to save the chat. If you just where you go ahead and type in the messages, uh, there's three dots. You'll see a smiley face, three dots. Just open that up and hit save chat and that'll automatically save this into a folder. Any other questions before we say goodbye? And I'm happy to stick around if there's any other questions, but I know we're, we're at the top of the hour and I wanna honor everybody's time. I do, very quickly. Uh, did you have your group, the one that you have been building with us, uh, a special Facebook group? Because when I look, it's general. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm personally just, I'm, I'm, you're okay. gonna hear my personal stuff. I'm not a fan of Facebook right now, so. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to migrate over, but their Facebook is awesome. And, and, um, and as we go along, I will create a community for us. Ceci, it's not there, not there yet. Okay. And the second quick question is on this e-learning, I haven't tapped into any of the features and, but I see what you're doing and the possibilities. I have a presentation and a PowerPoint what exactly can I utilize Builder on? I'm, I'm a little bit missing the link of, of this presentation. You should just display and go and talk about that, my slides. So how is, is it any, are, any are you, advantage? Are you, are you wanting to use this as an education piece? And is this for new customers or existing customers? It's actually a sales training, so it, uh, for travel agents. Okay, um, so with what you can do in the e-learning is you can um, break up the slides. Ideally, I think, Ceci, personally, that video is one of the, the best ways to engage people in what you're doing. So you may wanna consider doing um, your presentation and, and recording it, or maybe doing it live and then chunking it down into those pieces. That's one way. Or you could take bits and pieces of your um, of your your press release, or your, I'm sorry, your PowerPoint presentation, and have it as some of the the content that you're doing. But really, video is so powerful. I can't say enough. And I'm I'm writing an article for Juliet's magazine that's talking about video this month. Um, I absolutely agree with video. I, that's where I put most of my time is in YouTube and and moving there. I just was wondering if if you because you're always super strategies can see that that build it all right now it just works because it's one hour powerpoint is done i just want to know if you see a potential advantage of creating it in in build it all or not uh, um, i could chunk it i could get the images i could do that i just trying to figure it out is the tracking because i'm seeing who's Oh, yes. Or what do you think it will be? Let me show you the tracking piece of this real quick again. So it does do um, the, the tracking, which is, hold on just a second. So here's the, the data course right here. Mm -hmm. And um, you're able to see the list of the students. And so I can click here and I can see um, all that Susan did on her progress, where she stopped. She only watched, she basically came and got the logos, didn't do anything else. Um, you can see, did she do the test results? I don't use surveys. Um, the time period spent in each, it, each item. It feels like this is a lot more robust and probably for this learning. If I'm already 
seeing the people. This is on Zoom. You know, we're talking about live in Zoom. I don't think um, I think it's different different learning that it, this program that it, it not my one speech per se. Well, right? Can I say can I say something, Ceci? If yes, you're please. Okay, so I think where the advantage with Builderall is if you move into a lean e-learning space is that now that frees up your time that you would have been spending on Zoom, it frees you up to do other things to grow your business and focus on other areas of your business, right? And now you can kind of automate that and still do what you're doing really well in terms of the, the, the sales training, um, but have them kind of do it at their own pace or in their own program and it frees you up. That's that would at least that's what I see as the benefit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Sorry for taking the nope. No, 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 no. That's why we're here. And that's what I did with the PR distribution. I was like, I, I keep saying this over and over and over again. <laughs> like it's the same exact thing. And and so um I just wanted to make it so that they get the information and they can get it on their own time and and forever. Like if they forget it or you know, they want to go back to it at any point, they have a lifetime access to it. I have a question for you, um, yes. Shannon. Um, so when you have an e-learning situation, uh, like in my case, when I build this surgery made easy program, just there's a 14 day program on day one, they get a certain, they get a video and, and two audio tracks and they do that on day one. Okay. But they don't get any other days until they complete uh, that. So can day two be released after uh, they engage with day one material and then day, day three gets released when they finish day two material? Yep, absolutely. There is a um, controlled drip. Um, you can also have to where they have to complete a, a, a quiz. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I do that. Yeah. yeah, they're gonna they're gonna answer a couple of questions. Some questions. Yeah, it's a full it's a full LMS system. I mean, I I just I think I told you this, Dr. Bob. I worked with, with a company. They spent seventy five thousand dollars for an LMS system, and when I saw the back end, I was like, whoa, huh. Builderall. They just they it it blew me away that people were spending that amount of money, and we could get this for this this a month. Great. Yeah, Super. if you sign up for a e learning system like Kajabi you're probably going to be paying around 80 to a hundred dollars a month for it. And that's all you're getting is yeah. the build, the learning system. You don't get any of the marketing. You don't get any of the website builder. You don't get the booking builder. Like you don't get any of that other stuff. So again, it just goes to like scalability, being able to do more. Thank you. You're welcome. I feel like I have a co-host. <laughs> any other questions? I'm so sorry. No, I love it. No, I am so I'm like, I'm like, will you make sure you're here next month, please? <laughs> Any other questions? We're here for you guys. Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah, I do have a question. Why not? Um, I, I, how can I find out exactly what's included in that base plan you were talking about 1495 a month? Let me show you real quick that it's just the cheetah builder. So if you go to um, their main website. And just again, please don't sign up without the right link. Right. Um, under here has the plan. So you get oh. one domain, three subdomains. This is really for a startup or somebody that just wants to get in and build a website and then upgrade, right? Yeah. So um, yeah. 2000 subscribers and then two gigabytes of disk space. That is the space is the one place where you, you can, um, be paying more. So let me show you in here is the, um, there's a quota. And so it's only uh, not $10 a month to up your, up your quota, but you can see here's, you know, here's the detail. They keep track of the various pieces of what you use. And, um, and that's where you may end up paying more is if you have lots of videos or lots of um, websites, that's, that's where they can, you know, charge a little bit more. So you, uh, you can host videos, you can store videos and give people access to videos. So I wouldn't necessarily, necessarily need Vimeo at that point, right? Nope. Okay. Well, that pays for about uh, three months of the, of the, uh, of the, uh, Builder all. Okay. Yeah. It's good to know. 
And they even have a webinar builder in here where you can do webinars in here live like Zoom. But the, the you know, one thing with we're doing right now is we are all here and I can bring you in as panelists. They have a limited number. So I'm still actively using Zoom because everything I do is interactive, right? And they had a limit. Theirs is really for webinars where maybe you have a few people that are speaking and, and the audience is not able to, um, to see you at that, at that moment. Right. I imagine they're going to change that eventually. Right? Yeah, they're 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 on a mission, <laughs> so they're really they're they're um, looking at how do they make it better and what do they do and and those pieces. Well, Shanna, thank you for like uh, diving in two years ago and you know getting familiar with this and then sharing it with all of us. That's great, and you too, Amaryllis. And if uh, who else is I guess. Um, other other people have left. Dale's a new user, so he's he's getting on the he's getting on the wagon. Any any other questions before we say goodbye? All right, thank you guys so much. Thank you, Amaryllis. Yes, thank you. <laughs> that was awesome. It was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And again, please reach out to me if you have any other questions. I think all of you guys have my cell phone number. Um, and I look forward to seeing everybody next month. And thank you for being a part of this community. And if you have anybody that you want me to do a one-on-one -on -one with, I'm here to serve you and, and help, um, help our community grow and get have you get it for free. That's really, really um, pretty awesome. It's a very generous plan, actually. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. Alexander, any questions? You're kind of leaning in there. Anything else before we say goodbye? Okay. All right. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.